Welcome back to another clip tutorial. My name is Jasper and what we're going to be doing today is running through how to create a custom GPT for your business. Now we'll be doing this using ChatGPT and using the GPT Builder. Um, you, we're going to be creating about three different GPTs throughout this video so make sure you watch the whole thing. Um, so let's dive straight in. So first off we're going to make an SEO blog article writer. So this is going to be a blog article writer that focuses on SEO as well. So the first thing we need to do is get to the GPT page. You can do that by clicking on explore GPTs that pops in the corner here. And then we're going to go create. Now once we get in here you're going to have two options. One you can talk to the actual AI, so let's say ChatGPT to build your um, GPT or you can configure it yourself through the options here. So what we're going to do is we're going to configure it ourselves. So we'll first, we're going to give it a name. So let's call it SEO Blog Master. We need to give it a description. So let's say GPT designed to, to write SEO optimized uh, blog articles. Great. And now we've got right here. Now this is the instructions. So what the GPT's actually got to do. So what we're going to do is I've got a pre-built instructions here. Now don't worry, I'm going to run through it with you. We've got uh, you are an expert blog writer focused on SEO optimization. You generate well-structured blog posts with clear headings, subheadings, paragraphs. Always ensure content is optimized for search engines by including relevant keywords using internal and external links. Let's actually get rid of that part there because we won't have that information at the moment. And so we'll say, and maintaining proper keyword density, the tone and style of the blog should align with your target audience and it should be informative, engaging and actionable. Please provide accurate information backed by research and keep conversations uh, professional, uh, yet professional. Okay, so that's actually a good structure, but what we're also going to want to do is give it a bit of information because right now that's going to be very generic, so it's going to know nothing about your business, who you are. So let's say first off we'll say company name, and we'll go clipped, and then we'll say uh, industry, and we'll say digital agency, and then let's give it an audience. So who is your audience? And we'll say SMEs worldwide. Great. So now at least it's got actually a bit of information about who it's writing for. And then for a conversation starters, you can just say um, explain what you want your blog to be about. There you go. And for this, we won't need image generation. And we'll keep web browsing just in case because sometimes it can be handy for it to do searches and get relevant information that's new and it will use the web browsing capability to do that. So now that we've got uh, the t uh, name, the description and the instructions, we can actually test it out here. So then what we'll do is we'll say, please write an article about, um, let's say about digital marketing, pretty bland, but let's just say it, digital marketing, and it should be at least 1200 words long. There we go. Now just like that, it's <clears throat> just like that, it's writing a, you know, well written article for your blog where you would just be able to paste that into your website so whether you're using webflow or wordpress and um post blogs really quickly now if you wanted to actually save this uh gpt you'd go over to create and you would select one of these so only me so it means only you can use it anyone with the link or gpt store so if it's anyone with the link it obviously means anyone that's got that link can access this gpt and the GPT store actually lists it on the store. Um, but for this case, we'd just say only me, and then we'd go save. Once it's saved, you've got yourself a custom link that you can now go to and share around if you wanted to. Okay, 
So let's move on to our second GPT. This one's gonna be a social media content writer. So what we're gonna do is we'll give it a name. So social media content writer, pretty original. Then we're gonna give it a description. So we'll say GPT creates tailored social media posts for multiple platforms. Great. Now what we want this GPT to do is we actually want it to write a piece of uh, content for a post, but for multiple different social media types, because you don't want to have to do one, one after another. So you have to do Facebook, then have to do LinkedIn. Instead, you want it to give it the information and it provide the content for all your social media platforms. So let's get that prompt. So the instructions, and then here we go. So we've got, you're an expert social media creator. You craft engaging posts for multiple platforms, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, and Twitter. Adapt the tone, style, and length to fit the unique audience for each individual platform. And it goes for uh, Instagram, include relevant hashtags and emoji. For LinkedIn, keep a professional, insightful tone. For Twitter, use concise, impactful language. For Facebook, create an actionable, engaging tone. Always keep the core message the same across platforms, but tailor the presentation to fit the audience expectations, include any necessary call to actions. Great. Now you can also, once again, give it a bit of information around your business. So you'll say company name. Once we're going, we'll say clicked. Oh. Then we'll say uh, company industry. And then we'll say SMEs. Oh, sorry, we'll say, sorry, digital agency. And then we'll say audience SMS. Great. <clears throat> what, and then what we're going to do is have the conversation starter. And we'll say, what is the social media post about? So we just want to really tell it, uh, you know, what is it um, actually going to be about? And we can actually use what we got here. So let's say, it can be, this is the description of the blog post we just did, and we wanted to make social media posts for that blog post. So let's say we'll go, uh, the social media post will be for this, oh, this blog article. Here's the title and the short description, because I didn't copy the whole thing. Now let's see what it does. Awesome. So the first one it does is Facebook and you've got a specific post here for Facebook. Then you've got Instagram. Then you've also got LinkedIn. And Twitter and then brackets X. And there, there you go. So just like that, now you would have your own um, social media writer. So every time you've got a new piece of content, you can paste it in here and it will give you the social media post so you can spread it across your network. Once again, you would also need to uh, save this. So you'd go only me, anyone with the link or the GPT store. And it's just that easy. So the next one we'll be doing, so we jump across, will be the email copywriter. So um, some people use email copywriting to reach out to the audience. Um, it's a pretty common thing. So let's say we'll give this a name and it will be a email copywriter, uh, GPT. And we'll say GPT designed to generate professional and compelling email copy. <clears throat> Great. And then what we're going to do is we're going to give it the instructions. So we want this to be able to take some information around what they emailed before, and then they're going to craft a nice um, email copy that we can send out. So we we'll run through the instructions. You're an expert email copywriter. You uh, craft clear, concise, and engaging email content that aligns with user's purpose. The email should start with a friendly greeting, smoothly transition into the main point, and in the with a clear and actionable close remark. Use persuasive language to keep the tone consistent with the brand and make sure the message follows naturally. Adjust the tone based on whether 
The email is formal, casual, or promotional, and make sure to provide all relevant information to the recipient. Well, there we go. So we're also gonna to wanna to give us some information again. So we'll say company name, we'll say clicked, we'll say company industry, and we will say uh, digital agency, target audience, SMEs worldwide. <clears throat> okay, and then say, tell us about the email. So you get reminded, we just need to tell it about the email. We'll leave the web browsing on, but everything else off. Okay. Now, once again, what we'll say is we'll copy this and we'll now say, I need an email to let my subscribers know about this new blog post. Here's the title and short description. Bam. All right, so the subject is discover the ultimate guide to digital marketing for SMEs. And then it then goes, we've just published a new blog article that's perfect for your business growth. Lists everything out, got the blog posts. So yeah, it's created a nice email that you'd be able to send out to your subscribers if you're doing it manually or in a normal format. Um, so that looked, worked quite well. So as you can see, you can easily create GPTs for your business, uh, no matter what it sort of is, anything that's content based. So um, you can get quite unique and solve uh, different problems. If you have any sort of questions or wanting to use AI in your company or business, feel free to reach out to us. You'll find the details in the comment or description of this video and we'll be able to help. I look forward to seeing you into the next video.